recipe in the CI Kitchen will have you giving, taking a fresh look at salad. Yeah, instead of tomatoes and broccoli, we're going to replace them with fruits and nuts. U of I student chef Mark Mamula is showing us a new way to enjoy salad. So how are we going to be doing that with fruits and nuts? Well, we're doing an endive salad. It's a Belgian endive. Uh, it's going to be paired with orange segments, goat cheese, toasted almonds, chives. We're going to do an apple cider vinaigrette. Endive. What, what are we talking? Belgian endive. Uh, something like this. Um, so Looks a little lettuce-like. A little lettuce-like. Is um, it le in the lettuce family? It is in the lettuce family. Uh, similar to escarole in taste. A little bit of bitterness. Um, so what we're going to be do doing is using these boat leaves as the, as the holder, I guess, of our ingredients. Yeah. Um, so it would be a nice, quick, little, easy bite. Is this like um, a, an appetizer salad, or is this just the salad? This is going to be, it's actually an appetizer okay. um, for, my, for my meal that I'm presenting. This will be the first course. Um, it's kind of like a palate cleanser with the orange segments, the goat cheese, and the vinaigrettes. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is the extra virgin olive oil. We'll just dump it right in there. It's like about a cup. Uh, it's two-thirds cup. Okay. And we have a third of a cup of apple cider vinaigrettes, or vinegar, excuse me. Mm-hmm. We're going to throw a little bit of parsley in there as well that I minced earlier. Um, a little bit of black pepper. If you wanted to use, like, season, like, um, spices of parsley, could you do that instead of using the fresh? Yeah, of course. Um, fresh is always better, though. Right. Um, for my opinion. But you can, of course. Um, a little bit of sugar. And the shaker is always more convenient for me, Mark. Always, <laughs> yes. Um, if you want to throw some Dijon mustard in there. I can do that. All of it? All of it, Okay, yep. sure. We have about a teaspoon and a half of Dijon mustard. Okay. It sounds like it's got a lot of kind of complicated taste. You've got that smoothness and Correct. of the olive oil, but you also have that. I feel like vinegar is a pretty harsh taste. Yeah. So we're gonna balance that out with the creaminess of the goat cheese, the acidity of the orange. Yeah. Um, it's all gonna blend to it together with a nice texture, a nice crispy bite from the endive as well. Um, I'm trying to show them what it looks like, but I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it. <laughs> so maybe I'll just save that for later. All right. So tell us a little bit about your Spice Facts meal. What's the theme? I'm doing classic combinations reinvented. Um, so the play here is apples and oranges. Um, I'm doing other dishes such as a potato, potato and egg soup, uh, or excuse mm. me, bacon and egg soup. Uh, it's gonna be a potato soup with baked to egg, baked to bacon, uh, cookies and cream desserts, uh, fish and chips entree, uh, doing a pork and beans as well. Oh my. And then we're doing a lemon and lime sorbet for a palate cleanser in addition to all of that. So it'll be six courses or five courses depending on which option you choose. Um, but all of them are very delicious. Um, I kind of derived the meal just because I wanted something unique, something different, but something that everyone was still familiar with. Um, so that's where the lemon, lime, apples, oranges, cookies, cream, all those combinations kind of came into play and I threw my own little spin on it. Okay, so I know you have to do your own decor for this um, meal. Correct. How do you decorate on that kind of theme? Well, what's that's, your, what's that's that where my mom like? comes into play. Oh! Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, all, it's always important when you get out into the real world, right, to resource the people correct. that you know. Correct. It's all networking. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I went close to home, um, literally here. Um, so she helped, me, she helped me out quite a bit. Um, it's going to be black and white, fine dining. That's one thing I wanted to make sure it was, it was simple, clean, modern. Um, so yeah. the decor, the tablescape, everything is going to be beautiful. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, yeah. What Thanks is your, mom. Yeah. What is your course of study? That got that got you into doing this because you, you sound are, are you in, out of the nutritionist group? Um, so it's based on food science, human nutrition, but focuses right. hospitality management. Stuff. Right. Okay. Um, so that's how I kind of got intertwined in this, and I've enjoyed it ever since. Because you see, you see more. How do I put it? More philosophical about mm -hmm. about that just being, might be my personality. So <laughs> well, yeah. right, right uh, about the menu. Then mm -hmm. you know some of the others that have been through have all had great menus. Definitely. But yours is a little bit. Yeah, I, put, I put a lot of thought into it. I wanted to be different. Um, I didn't want to just do Italian. I didn't want to just do Mexican. Um, so I want to have my own little spin and still make it where it was you know, familiar to every, all the guests and um, yeah. Yeah. everyone else. Okay, so we're going to plate this up in our little boat leaves Correct. and we're going to top yeah. it with, um, so this is like a vegetarian um, Oh, completely salad. vegetarian, yeah, of course. So there's no meat in it. So we just pull off the endive boats. Um, you can literally just place them right there. I'm going to steal one of these so we can get a nice shot of what yeah. these look like and how they kind of peel apart this, this nice, well... It was nice until I broke it. But I think you kind of get the point of what that looks like, and it, and it's crisp too, so you Correct. can so it's nice. You can, that one's gonna be yours. <laughs> I'll take it. And so uh. the best thing I have to do to make sure that the endive stays on the plate is use the goat cheese as almost like oh, a glue. Oh, there um, you go. So we'll spread two lines here, and then mm. lay it down. And lay them okay. down. Okay, yep. we're gonna let you keep working, all right. and then we're gonna check this out how it all comes together mm -hmm. um, a little bit later in the yeah. hour. But in it's the like meantime, if you want to reserve your dining spot for Mark's Spice Box Dinner, be sure to visit CILiving.tv, and we will get you connected. Can't wait to see.